We are back with another Prime Icon Moments review and we have got ourselves the one and only Matthias. This is in draft as for obvious reasons prices are expensive. If you haven't checked out any of my other Prime Icon reviews, make sure you go check them out. We have covered a goalkeeper, a defender, another midfielder and some other players as well before or after recording this. So Matthias, as you can see here, he has had a massive boost. His moments, this is always ridiculous every single year. Practically every single stat is as close as possible to 90, if not over. And you can just see here, high, high, three star skill move, four star weak foot, five foot nine. He is a box to boxes dream. If you're looking for someone in that midfield role to play your CDM into attacking or just playing CDM or just playing cam, he can do either of those. Have a look at his stats here. And anything that jumps out immediately for me is probably, if I were to be extremely picky, his header and accuracy needs to go up and his agility. But that's how good this card is. I've picked those two stats. Acceleration is 95 for someone that is only five foot nine. He is going to be so quick on the ball, off the ball, get into top speed as quickly as possible. With that 85 finishing and 99 long shots and shot power, you will notice in the box that he will have rockets on him left, right, and center. Defensively, fantastically rounded. The only reason why he's only 91 is because of that defending in terms of headering accuracy, which is a shame, but it's one of those. In terms of dribbling, fantastic agility and balance, especially for someone that height, reactions, ball control, composure is amazing. Long pass, short pass, fantastic. There's just nothing really wrong with this card unless you were to be extremely picky, which is to mention his jumping header and accuracy and possibly finishing if you wanted to be more of a cam, but you'd have to be extremely picky to even notice that. In terms of trait, he's got outside the foot shot and power free kick, so nothing too crazy there, but he is very, very good. This is the team that we are rocking at the moment, and we are be playing him on this left-hand side to a box-to-box. -box. I think formations that would suit him Definitely 4 3 3, any variation. Uh, 4 2 3 1, a 4 3 2 1. Anything that's going to keep him around the ball, you can either have him stay back. If you already got yourself an out and out CDM, make sure you put Matthias next to him because he can come back and recover, but he can also turn around and move the ball at the other end of the pitch to get you that chance of getting the goal or creating a chance for someone else. We did record this over the last couple of days, so we have got a couple games here from highlights in the draft so if you're wondering why i'm wearing different clothes or anything like that that is because of that reason we did try to be as fair as possible on these cards and i have to say matthias is a fantastic card you can tell from the stats but he really surprised me in game if you don't want to see any gameplay just skip past the gameplay and we'll cover the chem style pricing where i think his best position is after the gameplay and much more so let's go jump into the gameplay left and right matthias wants to make that run through Matthias off the bar. Very unlucky there. In into the pocket of space. Matthias. Oh, I tried to do a bit of skill to get past him there. Matthias once. Lovely link up players. Oh, oh, what a tackle from him there. Got a bit lucky there. Right, counter attack transition. Matthias pushing that ball forward. Also being mucked by the Roy Keane once. Ah, uh, had Vinny through. Bad decision for me. But I've got Ben Yedda. I've got Messi. I think he's offside. He is, unfortunately. But I'm a tires here. Can that run through? The King. Oh, what a goal. Roy King. It looks like we're going to get ourselves a rage quit here. Or maybe some changes. The recovery there from Matthias. Turns around. Goes on the transition. Let's go. Driving the ball forward with Matthias. So they've got Ben Yedda running through. What a pass. Can we get a goal on the end of it? Of course we can. Matthias is through balls into transition attacks. He is one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders I've used so far this year. Absolute unreal card. I can see why he's so expensive. He does intercept there automatically, straight into 1-2. Gets around the dribble, pushing the ball forward. Again, Ben sees Messi at the top. Not the, <laughs> not the greatest shot. I think it was offside anyway. It wasn't. But you can see there, Matthias there, link up the play fantastically. Again, link up play from Matthias, winning that ball on the edge. Lovely turn. Matthias, bang. Gets a goal. Fantastic game for him so far. Really high scoring. Doing a fantastic job for us. Winning that ball in the middle of the park and just transitioning straight into attack. Playing those deadly through balls and also getting on the end of the goal there. Getting on the score sheet. It's what you want to see from someone of that level. Got Matthias on the transition. Got Vinny through the bottom. Lovely ball. Can we finish this? Send him. And we have a lovely another assist there. 
for Matthias, who's just been running our midfield for us. With Roy Keane, the link up there has been fantastic. We are 7-3 up. Love to see it. Matthias again. Cleaning up. Gets a bit lucky off Swansteiger. We'll link up to Swansteiger here. Pushing forward. Matthias here. Picking the ball up in the middle. He's got Vinny making that run through. Gets past one with the dribble. He's got Benietta trying to run through as well. What a ball. The vision. Another assist for Matthias. But you can see he just delivers that vision every single time. Absolute fantastic card. One of the best cards I've used so far in FIFA in for that position in for sure. Got Matthias here. Matthias picking the ball up. Finds Messi. Back to Matthias. And another goal for him. Absolute fantastic. Clinical. Fantastic in defense. Fantastic going forward. Great at passing. On the score sheet. I think that's going to make our opponent quit. Is that enough? They have gone. We are going to go have a look on Footbin now at the best chem styles prices and my overall view of the card. And we'll be right back. So as you can see, we are on Footbin. It is coming in at 3.9 on PlayStation and 4.8 on Xbox and 5.5 on PC. So his prices are a little bit all over the place. Just guessing that's down to supply. By the time, I'd, to be honest with you, that's a good price in my opinion for a card like that. He's going to be in your team for the rest of FIFA if you were to buy him. Only thing I will say, if you buy him now, he is going to drop down in price. So you are going to lose a lot of coins and tax on top of that. So I'll probably wait to the end of this month, which is March, to maybe even start looking at him. Hopefully he'll be down to like 3 mil, maybe 2.5. These prices this year are just all over the place. If we scroll down here, you can just see he is ridiculously rounded. His lowest position is... 89 as a right winger or a left winger everywhere else or center back but he's he can play anywhere put him in goal go for it don't actually put him in goal it's a joke but he's very very good in terms of uh chem styles there's so many options you can have people are saying engine which is what we had on them anyway and i think that just makes him way more rounded makes him a 95 center mid and i, I personally think that's the best chem style for him maxes out the acceleration Boosts up that agility, puts his balance at 96, his crossing goes up, his short pass, long pass, max out at 99. And he just sort of covers everything for you. Just a very well-rounded player. This card can play CDM, it can play cam, it can play left centre mid in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, or right centre mid. If you need someone to help out defensively, you can play 4-2-3-1. He can play 4-4-2. He can play basically any position in midfield. He's so quick on the ball. He's so good at getting the ball forward in terms of passing, and his finishing is second to none as well. This card is a nightmare to play against if you're having to play against him at any sort of level. He will cause problems. He will be solid all the time. He never gets tired either. He reminds me of Kante in real life who can just run, 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 run and no problems. But that's going to be the video today. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't seen any of the other Icon Moment reviews or any other reviews, make sure you check out the channel. If you have enjoyed today's content, then make sure you hit that like button as it helps me out. And subscribe to the channel if you love FIFA content, and I will catch you in the next one. See I'm coming with a vision that's cold. You can sit back, chill with a pen and take notes. I haven't got time for the trip and flow. I'm going to take my aim with a pen and I'm low. Cock back spree, let my enemies know when I reach.